President Biden's Tuesday visit highlights Arizona's role in a major U.S. shift on semiconductor manufacturing, as his administration is pushing to boost domestic chips manufacturing with more than $50 billion in subsidies in the new Chips and Science Act. The president's visit to a new fabrication facility being built by Taiwanese chips giant TSMC came as the firm announced it would build a second fabrication facility and triple its investment in Phoenix to $40 billion. Biden says it is good news for TSMC's biggest customer, Apple. These are the most advanced semiconductor chips on the planet. The chips will power iPhones and MacBooks. Apple had to buy all the advanced chips from overseas. Now they're going to bring more of their supply chain here home. It could be a game changer. U.S. technology firms have long outsourced semiconductor manufacturing overseas, particularly with TSMC, the world's largest foundry. Calls to change that increase when the U.S. found itself scrambling for chips in the COVID-19 breakdown of supply chains. Recent tensions with China added to the sense of urgency. China sees Taiwan as a part of its territory, and U.S. policymakers were worried about the U.S. ability to source high-end chips, essential for computers, smartphones, cars, fighter planes, and data centers. So the Biden administration is pushing for the most cutting-edge chips to be made in the U.S. Ahead of his visit, TSMC announced it would ratchet up the kind of technology it makes in Arizona, beyond the four nanometer technology slated to begin production in 2024 by producing three nanometer technology in its second fabrication facility by 2026. Those advanced chips deliver faster processing and use less power. This state-of-the-art facility behind us is a testimony that TSMC is also taking a giant step forward to help build a vibrant semiconductor ecosystem in the United States. The company, which had said it would hire 2,000 workers, now says it will employ 4,500. Michelle Quinn, VOA News.